Hi, Kelly Eckhold here to update you with the key events of the week. So first up, markets were really roiled at the start of the week by an abrupt change of forecast in one of the other banks who moved to forecasting two interest rate hikes in February and April this year. The markets really jumped on that bandwagon and priced in as much as a 60% chance of a rate rise at the February monetary policy statement. Things have calmed down a bit since then, and certainly for our part, we don't think that the OCR is going to change from 5.5% in 2024. We think the relatively weak level of headline inflation and the weak economic momentum will be enough to keep the Reserve Bank on the sidelines. Although we anticipate they'll still be on edge, they may even threaten further interest rate hikes if the data doesn't go their way. With respect to the data this week, we got a real data salad with something for everyone. Um, for a start off, we saw house prices reported as going up 1% in December, but apparently on very little volume. We saw uh, the migration data released, which shows that we're still surfing the top of that big migration wave, which is not getting any bigger, but it's certainly not getting any smaller either, so it remains stonkingly high. The monthly price index indices told us that rents are still running really strongly, up 7% for the year for new rents, but at the same time airfares are falling back a bit. Also we saw retail trade reported from January and it was relatively strong but it did come off a really weak month just before Christmas. On Friday, the Reserve Bank Governor is going to be giving a speech on the inflation outlook and how he's planning to interpret the new mandate that they got just before Christmas. I'll be back next week to report if he has anything interesting to say on that, but importantly I'll also be talking about our new quarterly economic forecasts that are getting released on Wednesday.